www.watercooler.com. Criticism where? From where? From where? Twitter, radio. Yeah, I give a rat's ass about Twitter. It's a platform for people that are sitting home throwing an unemployment check, sitting in front of a keyboard. I'm not disregarding what you're saying. Trust me, I get it at my own house. But, I, I mean, I just kind of feel like this. Social media and Twitter is what's destroying this country anyway. So that's how I feel about it. Politics, sports, whatever. It gives people a platform to and then other people are like needling it and they're sitting at home and they're late on payment. So anyway, that's how I feel. Now it's Welcome back. Welcome back to WNYWaterCooler.com podcast. We've got our magnets and hosts. That's me, Steve. we got Michael. we got Coast on the line. Why don't you ever say that? And your magnificent guest It's always magnificent host, and then well, and you're me. you're a co-host, really. I mean, you're not a guest. You've been on every single podcast except for one, I think. That's true. So, December eighth, and is it December eighth? December eighth, first place in the conference, just like we expected. One division win, and this our Super Bowl hopes are dashed. Oh my God. I, mean, I, I hope disagree. I, I hope I don't have to go into for exploratory surgery and come out with one fucking leg. <sighs> they ever give, did, did they give an explanation on that? I don't understand how. The only thing I can think of is that with he tore that ACL before, right? Yeah, same leg. So, so I'm sure that would be fine. I'm sure. Maybe there's all kinds of scar tissue and stuff in there. It couldn't come out. It didn't. It just didn't show up in the on the MRI. I don't know. I, you think with you know modern medicine, it, it, you an MRI or whatever they do would would notice a torn ACL? I don't really get that. One would imagine you can see ligaments uh, when we can see like whatever else we can see a bunch of other shit. Well, they said that I don't know if it was uh, verified, but someone I read said they're going in to move. Yeah, the ligament. Move the meniscus. Yeah, move it so that he can play on it. Oh well, hey, look at this. The the, the actually the most important ligament actually isn't even connected or whatever, <laughs> torn. Or the doctor just slipped. His hand slipped. Someone bumped his elbow when he was in there. <laughs> slices the slices the AC. I don't know what happened. I. I d- Three days after the injury, Miller feels like he can play, and like a week and a half later, it, it's bizarre. It's, I don't know. It's strange. I mean, I'm sure it's just they missed it in scar tissue swelling for whatever reason. They didn't detect it, but I've never heard of this before. Like they do an MRI and they say ACL is fine, and then a week later they're like, oh. That, no, I think it, I've heard of that happening before, but it. It's not oh. like that's something that happens regularly. Uh, yeah. Maybe once or twice, uh, or they go in there and they're like, "Well, it's bad enough." They just do the whole thing. But yeah, uh, yeah, I that know. I can see. But, but man, I obviously it sucks losing him. He's, I mean, he had eight sacks. He's was he won us the Chiefs game. The only reason he contributed, he, won he contributed to winning the, that game for sure. Um, I wouldn't say the only reason, but he he was a big played a big part in it. But I I sort of felt like I don't know when I heard the news, it didn't even really change anything that I thought because I didn't I don't know how good he would have been if he came back with a knee brace on, anyways. Like um, I I was sort of expecting this season, like okay, we need Rousseau, we need our other D lineman to step it up. Like we're not, I don't think we're going to have, I, I didn't, after the injury, I didn't think we were going to have like full strength Miller. Regardless. I thought, that, well, yeah, I, I mean, I thought that we would have like a third down Von Miller for the playoffs. Yeah. That's what I was banking on. I mean, he, he's not going to be able to go out there for 40% of the snaps, but maybe 25. Yeah. For obvious passing plays. And I mean, I was trying to look back at my tweets to see what my original opinion was of getting Von Miller, right? but I, don't know, I didn't have enough time to to do it. I couldn't find him or something. But I mean, in retrospect, it was a desperate contract. I mean, people want 
<laughs> people are lining up to play with Josh, Josh, whatever you call him, uh, his first name by only. His, by his name? Yeah, Josh. Yeah, we, we call all the players by their first name. But w- <laughs> where are all these players that wanted to take discounts to win a Super Bowl, which to me always was laughable, but all these guys wanted to take discounts and said we had to overpay and give him longer years. Well, what, I mean, isn't the it's contract – isn't the con- no, nah, you. They went for a piece to win. They're trying to win now. They, they, they. That signing was to try and win in 2022, and he could have played a key role in that. And they took a swing. You can't plan for him to get hurt. So in the six year, it was a six year deal, right? But I mean, really, it was like three. it was three years. Yeah, but it was yeah basically guaranteed three years. So he's yeah, gonna miss so- all of next year. I mean, look at he Trey said White. he's gonna be. He said he's gonna be. He wants to be ready for training camp. Yeah, so do I. I want to be ready for training camp. <laughs> Doesn't mean shit. What did Trey White say when he he tore I would it even earlier? That, I would imagine that for a DB, it's more difficult to to come. Yeah, back you don't really need your knees to bend around these four hundred pound left tackles. Well, I think the difference is, is that when you're a DB, you're you're reacting. You're cutting more. So, yeah, yeah. Dion, you know what move you're going to make. You're not like making like sudden sharp change of direction movements like a corner would be, but I'm just so physically fit. I never really would think about getting injured. So I don't know. But... Yeah, that's exactly right. <laughs> um, so I, I mean, man, I, I don't think it changes our chances to win the Super Bowl. I, I really, well, that's because I, you're just a fanboy. That's ridiculous. No, it, it obviously is like, it, do we, do we really think no one would, it, no one would say this. That they thought the only chance we had to win a Super Bowl was Von Miller. No one would say that. So our best chance. No, that's not true. Our we, best chance hey, to win is if we had a healthy full team. <laughs> oh, 100 percent Yeah. Uh, our best chance to win is if we have a healthy full team, which we don't. We haven't all season. So I don't think our chances are as good as I thought they were before the season, but I don't think that our chance. You said we were the best team of all time. No, I said they had the chance. They had the potential to be. <laughs> it didn't work out. The injuries, mainly injuries. I mean, we were playing. Vi- Matt Milano, when did he get hurt? He's always hurt. I feel like he's always hurt, but always plays or mostly he, plays. He, he. I, I didn't think he got hurt against the Pats. He played the whole game. I thought. And not, next thing I know, he's back to back DNPs with like a knee. Like, what was he doing in the mini buy? Playing like hoops and just, I, I don't understand. I, I don't, it's been happening all season. I don't know. Yeah, I don't get it either. Yeah, it, it has happened where they finish the game and then they miss the next game. We didn't have Milano against the Jets the first time. We didn't have Poyer. We didn't have Trey White. So it would have been nice to get all those guys back. But And the other thing is, too, that this year we, we didn't have Trey White last year for the playoff run. And – did you even notice him against the Patriots? I didn't even know he was playing. That's how good he is. And that's – whenever he's out there, I feel like he does take away, like, half the field. And I think adding him – like, no one wants to talk about how we're just adding Trey White to this roster for this playoff run that we didn't have last year, all-pro corner. I, before because he's been, did, he's been active for six weeks, and he's played, like, 30 snaps. He played, like, 70% of the snaps against the Pats. Who's – what receivers do they have? I'm just saying, we he's an all pro corner. And before his injury, if you asked people like who's huh. the best player in our defense, most people would say it would have said him. So having him is huge. Huge. Well, from my perfect perspective, uh, I'll be looking for him on Sunday at 102. And uh, I'll see if he's going to be shutting down one of the best young receivers in the league or not. You're going to be in the stadium at 102? Yeah, I don't miss kickoff ever. Uh, I they, they won't put him on Garrett Wilson. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I mean the best, the best receiver or best quarterback you said of all time. Or what did you? What were you rambling on about? I sorry. what are you? What? Are, why are you putting words in my mouth? I did not say that. You they, said that he's the best defensive player on the team. Is that I don't. Said? I said before his injury. Before his injury last season, if if I asked you who's the best player on our defense, who, what would you have said? Micah Hyde. And what would you have said? I would have said Trey White or Poyer. Exactly, that's my point. Well, yeah. So then, he, why would we not put him on Garrett Wilson? I don't know. You don't. I don't think that's a good strategy. 
Because if well, you have that's that, not if what you, McDurr does, anyways. I know, but like I think teams, a lot of teams do this. They put their number one corner on like a number two receiver, take him out of the game, and then double the number one guy. But we don't well, even we, we can't don't do, do that. that anyways. Then, yeah. So, but I, I, and I'll be watching this, for him. This team still has a very legitimate I mean, they're Super Bowl favorite. So. Because they, they, because Vegas already is in the hole. How much money on the Bills? They're not going to change the. They're not going to change the odds. They can't. It's the whole because Super they, Bowl odds thing is. It's not the. Pers- there needs to be perspective and nuance to it. But well, I mean, do you look at the? Uh, do you look at those stat nerds like Super Bowl probabilities? We have the best chance. <laughs> for the one seed, yeah. Oh, for the, wow, the to one win seed. the Super Bowl, to win the Super Bowl, yeah. Go because for like, the one seed. Well, what a, okay. well, that's all part of it. That's yeah. all part of it. Yeah, exactly. What's Philadelphia's odd? Uh, let me guess. Worse than ours. Yeah, let me guess. They're second? But the, my point, <laughs> what is your point? I don't even know what your point is. My point is that. I don't need stat nerds to tell me that. We still have a great chance to win the Super Bowl without Don Miller. And people are, like, jumping, you know, on the edge of, you know, jump, ready to give up on the season because we he got hurt. Like, people are so dramatic. Well, yeah, I mean, we like to be dramatic, but I would bet that the Chiefs get the one seed. If I had to put money on it, I would put money on the Chiefs. They have an easier schedule than us. Yeah, they do. They have a really easy schedule. Um, but I do think they got some tough games. I think at Denver this week is, is sneaky tough. I think um, they, Denver has the best defense in the, in the conference, and they played them tough last year. They Mahomes almost beat- never lo- and Mahomes has never lost to Denver. <laughs> I mean, it could happen. They they beat Denver in Denver at the end of the season against Drew Locke last year because of a defensive, a late fourth quarter defensive fumble return TD. Denver almost beat them, like the yeah, second last the week. Yeah, the, and Denver has allowed the fewest points in the AFC. Their defense is 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 sick. I, I, this Bro, is going to be a tight I, game. I'm telling you. Well, and uh, they they play the Raiders, so that could be a tough one too. Well, but, that could be interesting, but that's in Kansas City, isn't it? Can't remember, but I—I I mean, I would still bet. I would still bet on Kansas City winning out, though. I think. Yeah. So you're arguing with me, but I'm still right. So. I'm saying they, they. If I had to bet, will they win out or won't they? I would say they will, but I think they definitely could lose another game. Um, Cincy. Well, I mean, since he's going to lose to Cleveland this week. I mean, give yeah, me since he, people are. Don't they always lose to them? They do. They, they, they actually, I think they've lost. They lost, got swept by them last year. Got smoked by them like a month ago. Um, yeah, so okay, but, Kansas City, real quick, at Broncos, at Texans, home against yeah. Seattle, home against Broncos. So they don't play the Raiders. They already swept the Raiders, I think. Uh, what about the What about week 18? I'm pretty sure they play the Raiders. Oh, wait. Yeah, there are 18 weeks. My bad. Oh, yeah. At Raiders last week, last game of the year. And Raiders Ooh. could be playing for the seven seed. So I, Oh, let it? Yeah. Oh, at Raiders week 18. Wow. Tough game, man. Um, so, Cincy. Cincy's still up and down. Everyone's obsessed with Cincy now. Uh, well, because they're obsessed with the last thing they saw. Yeah, I mean, exactly. They, I mean, they played well against the Chiefs. I mean, I was bouncing between that and the Dolphins game, so I didn't see every play of the game, but... I mean, Cincinnati looked pretty good, but they didn't. What was the score? Twenty-seven, twenty-four, something. It wasn't. It was. Yeah. And how lucky did they get? <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know. Anytime there's a close game, it's like one team gets lucky to win. But Kansas City, like, didn't they miss a field goal, fumble? Like, they missed the know. tying field goal, but I mean, Boyd dropped long. a touchdown. Oh yeah, that's Mahomes, true. Boyd did drop a touchdown. Mahomes got that t- touchdown that was lucky on fourth down, like. Dive into the goal line. I mean, that's an yeah. inches. He fumbled at the goal. Yeah, you're right. So there was some luck both ways, but yeah, they missed. Casey weirdly missed that field goal late to tie it. I mean, who knows what happens after that? But so, but if the yeah. Bengals. I mean, the Bengals match up well against the Chiefs. But the Chiefs, they do. Bills, since he is. That's a that might be the game of the year. That, that's going to be very interesting. If the Chiefs somehow lose a game. I mean, then the since since he would have to sort of run the table, but that yeah, could well, be. since he, it would, you're right, you're exactly right. Since he, if since he ran the table, and we fit, obviously they'd be ahead of us in the standings, no matter what. We'd have to go to that game. Yeah, I'm one and zero in my trips to Cincy. 
Um, so it, yeah, but I don't know. We're gonna be favorite. Two thousand seven? Are you kidding me? When when did we go to Cincy? That was December two thousand four. Week week oh, fifteen. Four. Yeah, we got to Keel Spikes. Peters had the blocked punt. Yeah, it was a sick game. We smoked them, and then we uh went to San Fran, smoked San Fran, got to nine and six, and. Lost yeah, I think it was the last game I went to with you was the Steelers game in two thousand four. No, we didn't go to a. We went to we went to Cincy in 04. We went to no, the home game in 04, the last game week seventeen. Oh, yeah, we, we lost <laughs> like one of the most famous games. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. I I've been to many games with you since then, but oh. since well, since <sighs> just to they have Cleveland at home, then they go at Tampa, at New England, Buffalo, Baltimore at home. They Real tough. They, I mean, they're what eight and four. They have one more loss yeah. than us. They're going to get two more losses. I mean, yeah, I, I don't I, see I, them running the good, table. But. Their receivers are just they're 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 so loaded. They three. At receiver. They have three that are good. It's yeah. We have like one and a half. Mm, we have one. But I'd maybe give I'd give Davis and McKenzie like a quarter each. The Colts for some reason are always on prime time. So I was I was pretty bummed out when I saw that Matt Ryan got to play and he finally got to catch up to uh Josh Epoo in total turnovers for the number <laughs> tied for number one in the league. Matty Ice <laughs> caught up to oh, Josh. I thought oh internal like fumbles plus interceptions. Yeah, I thought that it was no one was catching Josh Allen, but I mean he's hey, played fewer some, games too. He's played fewer many games, fewer. Ryan. Yeah, he was benched for uh, <laughs> Ellinger, 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 Ellinger. I call them Ellinger, but they say Ellinger. <laughs> I, that's not how I would pronounce that name. But so you so you put in the strip sack on Allen. Is that his fault? Yeah, yeah. If you're not paying attention and you just have the ball out like that, I mean, you, you got to have pocket presence. I learned that in uh, 1991. Yeah, I mean, the hostile. I, don't you don't you think sometimes? Don't you think sometimes fumbles happen when you're left tackle? No, fumbles. Gets, did fumbles. he even block? Did he touch the guy? I can't remember if he even like physically made contact with that Uche guy. Questenberry just got like I don't know, that was well, rough. Cause, cause, Kessenberry. I mean, that guy, he fell over like an old ash tree. In that His one. leg was, I mean, was broken. Yeah, I don't know how he's... Was... Yeah, he finished the game, though. Got to hand it to him. Do you blame Josh when he cost us the Vikings game? Remember when he, he fumbled the ball in his own end zone? To, all we had to do yeah. was just fall forward. That was weird. That was really Who do I weird. blame for the Vikings game? No, I don't blame Josh Allen for any loss we've had. <laughs> If you score thirty points and lose, you're not, it's almost not, just spit my blaming, beer out. That's funny. I'm not blaming anyone on the offense if you lose a game and you score thirty points. What about the Houston playoff game? No, nah, he was great in that game. No, I blame the refs. Well, the refs, but that I'll never forget that pitch until he wins like two he Super Bowls. The clock. He stopped the clock. He, Everyone the, likes to make fun of that lateral pitch. It was a genius play. He knew what he was doing. I never saw someone with a redder face in my life. I mean, what yeah, was the was temp- so wouldn't you be if, if the black coats get, like came down? I mean, our whole sideline was probably shell shocked. We thought we had a TD, and these these refs come out of nowhere, like just sprinting on the field. Everyone was bewildered, and all of a sudden, they're. I mean, I would have been shocked for the rest of the for game. For a Christmas photo, we we all wanted to wear red, and they said, "What color red?" And I just had a picture of Alan's face from that play. I'm like, I want this color red when we are the, la- the lateral getting tailored. Yeah, we're getting all our, our pajamas tailored for our Christmas cards. Yeah, oh yeah. I want this I color it, red. They're I like, thought it was a good play. It was dark. The guy was trying red. to make a play. He got us hit that drive. He got us the time. That's his whole problem. He's always trying to make a play. He ever like count on anyone else? Is he abandoned? I mean, like when he was, a I child? think he's been. I think he's been better with that the past few weeks, don't you? Well, I mean, the quality of our opponent's gone down a bit, but yeah, he, gone I down mean, he, a bit. He's t- well, I mean, we played good teams. The Lions, he did the same it, fucking thing, bro. What are you talking about? What do you mean he did the same thing as the Lions? Well, we up, we were up three, and he threw a red zone interception. Oh, that was a good play. I mean, come on, every interception, they, <laughs> every they, interception is the best play. Like, the no, 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 made. no. I'm saying they're not. Hey, Allen's had some awful ones this year that were just – he had no idea what he was doing. I got to get the timestamp on that quote. But that Lions pick, the, 
the linebacker, I mean, the, the receiver was open. It was, I hate that play though, that we, that read option over the middle, like into traffic. I mean, I thought it looked like the receiver was open. The backer just like read the, read it like a book. Yeah. Well, so Saleh, Saleh, whatever. Dorsey. He, if, I hate uh, that. Is, I hate that mother. I hate that guy. He's got his receipts, man. But is he going to do the same thing to receipts. Allen on Sunday? Make him just throw no. it, throw the ball right to him. He did it twice in the last Jets game. They got a really. I good still defense. have nightmares about those passes. They okay. The I had one. Since we're getting to the Jets, finally, here's we're not they, even talk about the Patriots at all. Not even for a second. Are they, are that just are they that irrelevant now? I love it. To me, they are. They're they are. <laughs> they're. I mean, everyone has to give Bill Belichick the benefit of the doubt. Okay, fine. Give Bill Belichick the benefit of the doubt because he has I don't. six rings. Uh, no, I mean, he's gr- he's a great he's a mastermind of football, I guess. But the guy is an egomaniac idiot. Uh, to I don't have a better word. He he brings in Matt Patricia <laughs> and Joe Judge to run his offense. I mean, he's irrelevant. If he never had Tom Brady, he would have been fired. Like by he'd be on like his fifth team by now. He'd be like a he. I mean, he's under five hundred without Tom Brady. So I don't he's know. He's an egomaniac. He he he. You can't see the forest for the trees or something. I don't know. He. What was he doing bringing Joe Judge in and counting on no idea. Mac Jones and Matt Patricia? It just, it's like a joke. Like it, That's what we said it before the a... season. And then people were like, oh, they're figuring it out. And Mac threw for 380 against Minnesota. There was, a, there was some Pat's love and going into that Thursday nighter. But uh, yeah, no, I'm with you. I don't know what they were thinking. If it was any other team in the league, it would have been, they would have been just absolutely destroyed. There was a ton of Patriots love. I mean, all the people are like, oh, three and a half. I'll definitely take him with the hook. Almost three and a half. Oh, four, four. Oh, like I never even thought it considered us losing that game. I mean, we yeah. took the off the gas. We could have smoked big time. That team. Big time. We, we just kind of ran the clock out in the second half because we did. New England did. They didn't even New try England. to score at the end of the second quarter. New England. New England tried to run the clock out. We. I mean, we had that that nine minute drive in the third quarter where we scored and. It just seemed like we could, you know, they, they weren't going to be – if we were trying, they just weren't going to be able to stop us. I and, mean, I, I was nervous for like a second when I saw that Jones <laughs> DB catch the ball and just run untouched for 45 yards or something. But, I mean, I'm like, that's a fluke play. It Like, didn't we – did we f- score right after that? Or Yeah, we drove down, scored right after, and then scored again on our next drive and Jones looked, I mean, their offense looked so pathetic. They, it, I don't know. I mean, it, they didn't seem like they're trying. And then they just <laughs> three timeouts, two minute warning. They just don't even call timeout. I loved it. it was great. And then he said, yeah, he, genius check after the game even said, he's like, well, oh, I didn't think it was worth injuries. Yeah. Like, he's dude, probably right. He's like, we lost. We did. He said something like we, this came up earlier in the season. We lost Mac for three weeks. <laughs> Or something, I don't know. I mean, he's probably right. You're not winning the game, so why? <laughs> you know? I but mean, you don't two see minutes teams left. do that. Yeah, you don't see teams do that that are in – I mean, they could still technically win the division at that point. Uh, yeah, they I were mean, they were waving the white flag. It was. I mean, if I'm a Patriots fan watching that game, I'm just thinking, what? Like, wh- How pathetic does Mac Jones look? Well uh, – I mean, it's easy for us to just dunk on him because he, the, his face is like more punchable than yours and mine combined. Which it's it's his mannerisms I mean, too. Uh, All his yeah, mannerisms. He, he has like a he's just like a entitled, just like whiny. Yeah, he, he's basically me or something. I don't know what it is, but the guy is just <laughs> he's not likable. He's not a likable person. But oh I, my god! Like I, I would feel, I would feel bad for him if he didn't have like a full ride to Bama and then be like praised for an entire year last year. Oh my like, god! Oh, he's the best of these rookie QBs. Now he's like, what? Is he better than any of those rookie QBs? Maybe Trey I mean, Lance because he hasn't played at all. That might go back to Zappy. Yeah, but it, I mean, just having <sighs> you have to go into the offensive, you know, the game plan with Joe Judge and Matt Patricia, like. I mean, these guys, who knows what NFL players really think, but, I mean, give me a break. You're going in the room with them, like, 
yeah, I'm going to win with these two. Like what? The former head coaches in the league. I don't know. I, I don't, I really, I have no idea. I don't have a clue. Special but... teams guy and a defensive coordinator. <laughs> and both just failed and got yeah. fired from like pathetic teams. I mean, the Giants, they, they're pathetic. Let's face it. Look but... at both teams are so much better now than they were under them too. Like they. With almost know, like they're... the same personnel. Yeah. The Giants are so much more respectable now, and even Detroit. I mean, the Lions I are much I more. Been, I might have been wrong about that Campbell guy. I don't know. They still – well, <laughs> we'll see how the season plays out. I, well, last week their offense, they scored on every possession, I think. They're the only team yeah, to do that this year. but They're pretty good. They're pretty good. I mean, that was a good win for us, I thought. So, but cir- well, yeah, you did. Circling back to the Jets now because the Patriots, I circle back. I don't care about them. the Patriots. I mean, I still love to beat them, and I still wear my fuck the Patriots shirt whenever we play them. But I'm not no more. So the Jets, great defense. <laughs> you said I, they're six. Yeah, they're pretty good. Points allowed. So who they played this year? They gave up twenty four to Lamar. They gave up thirty to Brissett. Twenty seven to Burrow. And then they gave twenty points up to Trubisky. Seventeen. They had to play. They played Skylar Thompson. They gave up seventeen to the Dolphins. And then they beat Rogers in Green Bay. Great. That's a great win. Although Rogers, I feel like that's when they sort of. That's when they sort of started to. They they become, sort of come onto the map a little bit. They peaked there. Although the Packers are not a good team. Not good and team. Rogers yeah. was hurt. Still yep. a good win. They only gave up ten. And then your beloved Broncos, who are, uh, they're a great team. You said or whatever. They gave up nine to them. <laughs> I mean, did Denver, they beat them? Did they beat them? Yeah, then we're only scored nine points. What was the score? It was like twenty to nine or something. I, okay. I don't. I just had that they gave up nine points to them. Then oh. they gave up twenty-two to Mac Jones and lost. They gave up seventeen to us. In which, I mean, a lot of things went their way, but they won the game. <laughs> they did. That's the only game that I feel like we actually got beat this year. <laughs> uh, okay, and then they gave up. 10 to Mac, although really it was only three. But again, that was the Patriots. They still lost. Uh, then they benched Dickhead, and then they they beat Simeon. They gave up 10 points to Trevor Simeon, and then they lost to the – they gave up 27 to the Vikings. Yeah, so they haven't really – their defense – So my point they, is, yeah, who have they, they beaten? They haven't played anyone. They beat us. They're 3-3 oh, three yeah. three at home. They're better on the road, surprisingly. But, again <sighs> – they lost to Lamar. They lost to Burrow. They beat Brissett by a point. They gave up 30 points to Cleveland. So, I mean, Jets, yeah, they are good. Uh, they're not the best okay. defense in the league. I mean, they have weapons. I mean, this guy, I've never really even heard of him, Z- Zonovan Knight. I mean, fantasy dudes are probably like, oh, I knew about him seven days ago. You didn't know about him. He's only played two games. He was undrafted free agent. I, I looked him up. He's had... He's he's making plays in in the run game and the receiving game. He had 103 and 118 total last two games. Hello. Yeah, we lost you for a second. There you go. Sorry. Um. The so they have the Zonovan Knight guy. Yeah, they cha- trade for James Robinson. I mean, that makes no sense. <laughs> he's not yeah. even active. Like, what are they doing? I, but anyway, it's not not a big deal. But um. I don't know, man. I feel the same way about the Jets as I did the first time we played them. I just, I can't be, a, I can't, I cannot be a believer in them. They've made me, I was obviously wrong the first time. They, Mike White, fun, great story. He was last year too until we played them. And then he never played again the rest of the season after our game. So, yeah, Mike gets, White coming in. Yeah, four, four, picks. four picks. I mean, this series, the last two games, he's thrown over 300 yards, but I mean, he didn't really do much. He had a fifty nine point eight QB rating against Minnesota. I think he coming into picks. the coming into the um, game last season, he threw for over four hundred against Cincy, and they upset Cincy. I, I remember there was like Mike White. There was some Mike White love last year for a few minutes, but he could. He's kind of like a Ryan Fitzpatrick. I feel like like it, they have these like hot stretches, but then it like at some point it just comes crashing down to earth. Yeah, I mean he's. He doesn't have the strongest arm. And he, I think he, he didn't have any touchdowns against the Vikings. I think he had a rushing touchdown. But Yeah, and so, and we didn't have White or Poyer in that first meeting. We Yeah, we didn't have Milano, Poyer, or White. Those guys were all out. Although they didn't have Corey Davis or 
or this Donovan Knight guy who's the new Brees Hall. I don't know, but I mean, I don't, I'm going to have to look up what his, this guy's number is to verify what he's doing on the field on Sunday. But <laughs> I feel like we were missing more guys in that too. I don't know, like D line, like Phillips maybe wasn't playing. Uh, we just had so many, so many guys out on D all season, but um, I don't know. Milano, he must just be afraid of the Jets. He's hurt now again. So yeah, I don't blame him. <laughs> but uh, I don't know, man. If we ever, if getting swept by the Jets is just not something that I can envision being possible. The line to me though makes no sense. Well, let me just double it. Thursday at nine o'clock. Let me double check this line because it was it was nine and a half. Uh, Probably nine and a half still. Ten, eleven, nine. Well, I, it, to me, it just seems high. I mean, it, people, I, there's all. I think Vegas is a little scared to put like putting the Bills spreads too low because they we either lose a close game or we pretty much blow teams out. But I think that there's some. I think that whole the whole revenge factor thing is like a thing this week too. I I, I don't know. It seems like there's certain games where we turn so it up a notch. It's it's strange. So the line's ten. It's up to ten, <laughs> yeah. and it's over under forty three. <laughs> so they're yeah. thinking that we're gonna win thirty one to or no twenty five fifteen twenty six sixteen twenty twenty six fourteen twenty five. Yeah, something like that. So, whatever the fuck. Yeah, twenty. <clears throat> it just seems like a low a half, over under. I mean, the, the over under is low. <clears throat> That's way too low. I'm gonna I'm banging the over, but I mean, the weather is gonna be a factor. Maybe well, you said snow and then maybe rain, but it doesn't seem like it's gonna be a soaking rain. But the line is set that the the line is saying that the Jets are just not really gonna score, which I can yeah. I can sort of see. I can see that. So you could have, it could be a game where it's like like similar to the Pats game. I mean the Pats, Mac Jones came after throwing 380 against the Vikes and played off and didn't look like he ever played football before. Well, it's funny, yeah. So we're playing these teams off the Vikings back to back. So that that's a good point if we're looking at it like that cuz yeah, if they make if they made Mac Jones look all right, the Vikings defense and uh, I mean Mike I watched that game. I never Thought that Mike White. I mean, it was pretty close at the end. They were drive. They drove down they twice. Very easily could have won. And yeah, the Vikings were ter- the Vikings. I mean, they were just shredding the Vikings D in the second half until they got to the red zone, and then they just couldn't do anything. But you know that. Yeah, I mean that's what, partly six... Mike White. That's partly the coordinators or something. I don't know. They're whoever. I mean, they don't have like big guys. I mean. Is Wilson Corey, looked Corey unstoppable, Davis. though. Wilson looked unstoppable. Wilson? Um, yeah, Garrett oh, Wilson. Oh, yeah, Garrett Wilson. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, that guy's a beast. Yeah, he looked amazing. So, that's going to be uh, – we've been doing so good against number one receivers. So, let's see. I, I just think oh, the, yeah, spread but... should, the spread should be like seven and a half. Uh, ten, ten seems high. Dang but maybe Jets maybe Jets. revenge. I mean, <laughs> dude, we this team beat us a month ago. Are you kidding? I mean, if there's ever a time where we are going to win by thirty, this would be it. <laughs> like, I don't know. I, this team is. Di- I just feel like there's there's going to be a little extra something this year. He's, they're not going to this this team is not going to get swept by the Jets. I would think if there's going to be a game we're going to win by thirty, it would be the Bears. But uh, that's just me. You can win any game by 30. I don't think we could beat the Dolphins by 30. I think we could. If it's like, if it's freezing cold, Tua. Well, I, li- I, I, I don't dislike Tua. Maybe if we had but, Mac uh, Jones. You don't dislike Tua. him? I don't believe you. Not really. Nah, he's, I kind of like his story actually, but and I think he's better than Herbert. So, <laughs> um, yeah, he had, he went but, to Hurt uh, Scrabble, Alabama and was. Blessed with- nah, it's just the way – it's just everything that's happened to him once he's gotten in the league. Well, he but, did, uh, he's gotten shat on, shat on way too much. I, yeah, that- it's fu- it's ridiculous. But um, if it's cold and that uh, – he just doesn't seem like he can uh, handle adversity very well in the – like, I mean, that la- game last week, 
against uh he definitely melted San Fran. He like yeah, he like combust self combusted after, there. Well after the Gaziki drop or whatever they call it, but yeah, I mean we only got a minute left. I mean we got all next week to talk about the Dolphins. You'll be going to both these games, I assume. I mean huge division I mean, games. Huge division December games. I mean yeah. My dad's got extra tickets too. Thirty yard wow. line. He does? Oh man. Yeah, one hundred level both. I have to yeah. DM you. Holy you know, shit. Uh, I got I got Bill's uh thirty eight Jets six. <laughs> Six. That that would be the over. I'm I'm definitely going to put a bunch of money on over forty three. That that line. I mean, I, it's not even supposed to be windy. I don't think that line is way too low. I thought it was. But... I think James Cook. I mean, we haven't mentioned him until the thirty eight minute mark here, but he we might be actually using this guy. Uh, what a yeah. shocker! Oh, because he's a rookie. We weren't allowed to use him until mid December. So that's that's a good strategy by McDur. But. Uh, yeah. I I think we're gonna win by seven. I don't, we're not covering wow. ten, but I, I sweat like it out. Over. Yeah, I mean, like White will get a backdoor. He'll get a backdoor touchdown. <laughs> give him some some fake life and make me want to pay attention until the end of the fourth yeah. quarter. I think. I don't think our starters are sniffing the field in the fourth quarter Sunday. I'll say I'll say what thirty one twenty three. Oh, love it! Ten and three heading to the. Uh... Playing the eight and five Finns Saturday night football. Saturday I love night it. football. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna bring two of some uh, ear muffs. He has those ears warm. Yeah, need that temperature to plummet. <laughs> okay, it's got a hope. All about my bills, like Buffalo. Shit, I'm all about the bills, like Thurman Thomas. We're not making a playoff. We're not making a playoff. I don't tip. I pay bills. <laughs> Bitches call me Buffalo. Right. Hug- we'll do it live. Okay. No. We'll do it live! Fuck it! Do it live! I can, I'll write it and we'll do it live! Right. Fucking thing sucks! And.